Well, hi there, and welcome back to another episode of the All Around Growth Podcast. My name is Rob Kaiser, and I am your host. Today is Tuesday, August 2nd, 2022, and this is episode number 391 of a show that provides insight and tools to help us build the lives and homesteads of our dreams. All right, the topic of today's show is the Airbnb experience. And that's right, we're gonna talk about this from the perspective of using what we already have to earn a little more. All right, so what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of us out there are working on a side hustle or something, or we're working on a homestead, or you know we're self-employed and doing something cool, um, or we've got a hobby that's interesting, or we have livestock, or whatever the case may be. You know, there's something going on in our lives that we're passionate about. And if in the case that it's some sort of you know, side hustle thing, some product or service that you are already offering and people are interested in that as it is, chances are there's another demographic that is interested in the process behind what it is that you actually have to offer. And so therein lies something more that you can offer a behind the scenes look at what you're doing and how you get there in the first place, or sometimes even how you got there, how you got to where you are right now. Okay, and so the more that I am learning about the Airbnb experience, the more that I've been diving into this, the more I am convinced of all the opportunities that lie out there in the world simply waiting for us to capitalize on them and take advantage of them. So today, um, you are going to follow my thought train as I look into this and do a bit of research on the fly. I thought it would be fun to do a casual episode with you right beside me as I dive into this and do a little bit more research into uh, the Airbnb experience. So without further ado, let's, let's just get right into it. You know, some of you might be wondering, like, what is an Airbnb experience? And to provide a little bit of context, um, you know, I should probably, you know, share how I got here. Like, I knew what an Airbnb was. Hell, I've stayed in an Airbnb a few times. Um, not too many times, you know, three, four times I've been in an Airbnb. Uh, it's been a pleasant experience. I don't really have much more to say. You know, like I've used Airbnb kind of like I've used Uber. Uh, just just not a lot. Um, it's, it's cool. Uh, I don't really know what to say about it. Um, but anyways, uh, as far as this Airbnb experience, I had no idea what that was. Never heard of it before. And, I, you know, I was in that camp just a couple days ago, Sunday night, when I first heard that term from Maurice Small during his visit here. And while we were on the front porch, just hanging out, eating, you know, different meats and sauerkrauts and uh, cheeses and stuff, uh, just, uh, he, he he said, you know, hey, he kind of suggested that we create this Airbnb experience and replicate exactly what we were doing right then and what we did that afternoon. And that if we did that, he'd be the first to leave a review. And I, you know, I paused and I actually uh, went and grabbed my journal to jot this down to make sure that the... Uh, the idea stuck, if you will. 
So later that evening, once everybody left, I I looked into this and I'm like, so how do we create an Airbnb experience? And you know, what the hell does that even mean in the first place? So I started learning about this. And, you know, enter go into the search engine of choice and uh which is pre-search. I'll link to that in the show notes. Um, what I did was I <laughs> searched for create an Airbnb experience. And all of a sudden, I find myself with a link to an article that says how to create a unique Airbnb experience. So let's take a look at what that is. And in the process, we will learn what an Airbnb experience is. Okay, this, and I'll link to this article in the show notes, but I'm just going to read it because it's very simple and it provides a far better description than I can provide on my own. So let's get into this article titled, Create a Unique Airbnb Experience. And this is from Airbnb.com. You've got a great idea for an experience and we want to help you share your experience with the world. Let's start by reviewing the Airbnb experience's standards and requirements. And if you're creating an online experience, review these standards and additional guidelines. Still with us? Great. The next step is to understand our three pillars of a quality experience so you learn how to showcase your strengths in your experience submission. Okay, and there's links to the standards and requirements, the additional guidelines, and the three pillars embedded within this article, which all of which will be linked to in the show notes. Okay, so here's what you'll need. Here's the basic information you'll need to have when creating an experience listing. A title for your experience, a description of what you'll do with your guests, the location of your experience. Now, you know what? As I, as I go through this, like, here's, here's, here's the thing. And, and here's what I was taking away from this. Like, okay, here's what you'll need. And here's the basic information you'll need to have when creating an experience listing. This, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, 11. There's a dozen bullet points here that says, hey, this is what you need to make this happen. And based on what we did Sunday, I'm kind of thinking about this, thinking, is this feasible? Can I do this? A title for your experience. Okay, sure. You know, f- farm tour and sauerkraut tasting or something like that. A description of what you'll do with your guests. Okay, I can review a few farm tours and food tasting events and uh, do some creative writing and describe effectively what we did on Sunday in order to replicate that and have... Uh, a little bit more specificity and flow with the experience. Of course, we would have the location of our experience, details about what you'll provide your guests and what guests should bring. That is certainly easy enough. Seven high quality photos of people engaging in your experience. And perhaps I can get those photos from Maurice and his interns. You need to submit the minimum age of your guests, the expected level of guest activity and skill required to participate, the maximum group size, usually under 10 people, the start time and length of experiences, most are under three hours, and the price per guest. Okay, so, you know, this seems really simple. So in submitting your experience listing, it's all coming together. Here's some pointers before you submit your experience. And guys, there's links all throughout this article. Check it out. You know, this seems like a really interesting way. And we, uh, I've already created the experience. I'm working out the details and I want to just get this done. So I can send it off to Maurice and say, hey, we did this, you know love to have that review let's uh help uh, you know 
how can you help me tweak this even even more make it even better um, and like this article reads it indeed it is all coming together here are some pointers before submitting the experience what can guests expect during your experience describe it in detail in the what will do section how does your passion and expertise make this an unmissable experience use the about you section to describe how you are uniquely qualified to run this experience and are your team or are your experience details accurate from guest group size to who's on your team make sure you get all the details straight in the settings section now for an online experience this is a different thing entirely there's a couple of things you'll need to know for submitting an online experience online experiences require a short video demonstration along with your submission this video is used to evaluate whether your experience meets our online experience standards and there's links to the video demonstration and how a video submission is reviewed so that's right there's an online experience right so what the hell is that um, <clears throat> Basically, online experiences are hosted on Zoom, a third-party video conferencing software, which many of you, most of you are probably familiar with. And people go to the Zoom meeting and you, you, you have a Zoom call, all right? So, you know, if that's... Um, you know, if you live somewhere where hosting an event or hosting something is is not feasible, you know, but you do a craft, you know, you, you, you make belts or you do some woodworking or hell, maybe there's some computer work that you do, whether it's with software or hardware, I think a Zoom meeting would be an interesting way to share the work that we're doing. And, um, you know, there's an opportunity here with doing things online, an opportunity to make a few dollars as well. So that's kind of what an Airbnb experience is. Now, there's also a link to, you know, all of this sounds good, sounds, you know, how do you get started? Well, that's easy. There's a link to get started, you know, and if you've used Airbnb before, uh, chances are you've already got an account. So I've got an account and um, I, you know, what I did was in, in my hustle and bustle of, of, you know, signing up for this, uh, I, I created a new account for, you know, the farm under, you know, linking it with Google, the York Meadow Farm at gmail.com account. However, what may be of benefit is because I think the last time I stayed in an Airbnb was 2017 and I had stayed in them prior. So I've had an account for you know, many years now, um, it might behoove me to set this up and, and uh, link to all of all of this personally, right? Because you can link to your Facebook or Google account, and that might be an interesting way for people to see my own my own personal history, or possibly do that with the farm. I don't know, but basically, you create an account you learn about all of the different ways to host on Airbnb because there's far more than simply, you know, uh, leasing out your home for the, for the night, for lack of a better term. And, um, you know, you can do online experiences, tours. And as I was thinking about this, you know, one particular skill set I have and one particular skill set I've developed over the years is identifying trees. 
right? Identifying shrubs, woody plant perennials. I, we, we can take a walk in the woods and I can tell you what most of the trees are uh, oftentimes just by looking uh, at their bark. Um, so that's, that's kind of fun and, and I've just, I, I've gotten to that point after working for two decades plus in the green industry and in and around the woods. And I realized that that might be an experience that I don't have to live somewhere where there's woods. There's plenty of parks around. I could sign, you know, I could create an experience and meet people f f down the road at a local park, take a walk in the woods, identify trees, and uh, I don't know, do something as simple as learn how to press leaves at the end and people walk away with a, a simple leaf pressing. You know, there's, there's all sorts of things that you could do. And that's just one way that you could host on Airbnb. And what I just said there about leaf collections, the pressing of leaves, something which I know very little about, but I'm sure I could learn about it and suddenly become an expert based on, which, <laughs> based on all the other things that I know. But, you know, that's also something that could be done online, provided I gather the leaves and we do a leaf demonstration you know, maybe some branches. We do a leaf demonstration, some close up looking at the buds, the stems, the leaf, the petiole, uh, you know, all these parts of the plant that could potentially be interesting as well. So, you know, create your unique Airbnb experience. And that was what I shared with you right off the bat, which is how we learned about what an Airbnb experience is. And basically that's it. So guys, I'll link to these articles um, in the show notes. I'll link to, you know, cr how to create an unique Airbnb experience. I'll link to the article titled Getting Started. I'll link to the article titled Hosting an Online Experience. And I'll also link to the article, which I didn't cover, called All the Ways to Host on Airbnb, which I basically discussed indirectly through all of the other articles that we talked about there. So hopefully, you know, you learned as much as I did over just this brief episode and the links will allow you to easily learn more. And I would definitely encourage you to check this out and consider implementing it in your own life as you go about your pursuit of side hustles and or primary hustles if you are someone who is self-employed, maybe just one of many ways of you know creating income in your life. And if you want to connect with other people who are actively doing that, one of the best ways to do that with this community is to do so in the Telegram group, which you can join at t.me slash allaroundgrowth. Or if you just want to shoot me a message and give me some feedback about this show or anything in particular, you are welcome to send me an email at allaroundgrowth at gmail.com. And that's it for today, guys. I look forward to catching you in tomorrow's show, which will likely come out later than normal. I hope you have a great day to, or today, and I hope you have a great day tomorrow as well. Until then, we'll see you later, guys. This is Rob Kaiser, and thank you. What can I do?
If we stand together, we'll never fall. We can make a difference and answer the call. We know the times are wasted every day, and we can help. You're an odd 